reading. For fun, both F's being capitalized. Don't, with no apostrophe. Cinema Space Sins. Inspired, capital I- Yeah, you get the point. This disclaimer screen, and by extension, the rest of this video has a lot of typos, so... 10 cents to them all, just so that I don't have to sit here for another hour pouring all of them out. Trust me, I've done it once, and I'm not sure if I'd mentally survive if I did it again. Also, using left justification for text instead of centering it. I do want to hang out with you more this year. That pause lasted entirely too long. Kinda awkward. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll admit, that sand sound effect as a replacement for the hit sound is hilarious, but why not just use the normal sound effect? Oh. Oh, alright then. I'm not sure if this is due to laziness or trying to be original, but if it's the latter, then... Harsh realization, buddy. Pretty much every cinema since parody in existence is unoriginal in some way since, you know, they're all practically copying cinema sins and I am no different. So why try and be original when that's pretty much a guaranteed failure right from the start because you're doing a cinema sins parody? And if it's the former, then I could just sin for laziness. Pick your poison, it's a sin either way. Guaranteed a half sin, but a sin nonetheless. Or oh, well, half of one. Everything is separated into two words when it really doesn't need to be. Also, the text moves. Hey, buddy, Vegas has this really cool thing called layers. It's like an onion, but better. And it doesn't make you cry. Sometimes. The same counter starts out, there just straight up isn't a zero. Also, you better believe I will absolutely send this video for the lack of a timer. Vegas literally does it for you. Here's my first thought. How did all of that did not go into Addison's, uh, skirt? How and why is that specifically your first thought? Jeez, for how much you call Addison sus in this video, that sentence makes you sound like the sus one. Also, just general tip, I wouldn't keep starters in the video. Retakes are always nice to do if you can. Also, also, that replacement thing. That's getting a full sin because it's not as funny. See, here in my studios, we prioritize being funny over being logical, and that logic must apply to everything because I'm an asshole and I say so. Absolutely nothing. Wow, she must be having a great time on that chair. Yes, she is. Why is this a sin? Also, that squeak in the background. Wow, she must be having a great- You should probably check the batteries on your fire alarm. Sounds like they're dying. Even the blob won't touch it, and he consumes everything. When did that purple slime guy, or I don't know, slime guy? Yeah, I'm just calling him slime guy. Purple slime guy. Also, Zed literally just said his name like two seconds ago. Even the blob won't touch it. Okay, well, it's not really a name per se, but still. How did he get in the school building? Did no one recognize him? Pretty sure he's a student at Seabrook High School. He shows up in another episode, too. He's obviously the culprit. Why else would he run away from us? Or slide, or whatever he does. Great job, the blob! That's a new Seabrook track record! I'm very positive Zed would have had a completely different reaction if he wasn't supposed to be there and was just intruding. The critics raid! Wow, not only that that slime guy also raided, but he also ate the sign. Is this guy gonna eat everything? If what Zed just said in the clip from like 10 seconds ago didn't say anything... Even the blob won't touch it, and he consumes everything. Yes. Yes, he will. Well, except the sparkling water, but everything else besides that. I can't believe you're pulling the best friend card again. That... face. I'm disappointed this didn't get a sin off. This face is priceless. Question, if that exploded, why is there no hole in the ceiling? Because cartoon. Cartoons don't make sense, like, ever. Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's probably fine. Uh, um, by that smoke effect being into a skull, it could tell you that it's not fine. Hey, if there's anything this show taught me, it's that Zed isn't exactly the smartest tool in the shed sometimes. He's missing the finger and thumb shaped like an L on his forehead, but still. Ah, uh, Disney, you are really going on another level of susness. Susness. Look at Addison's face! Okay, that line delivery was priceless. Remove five cents, please. Actually, five and a half, mainly just because I'm lazy. Did that 
cursed recipe turn everyone into Zoda crazed zombies? Huh, <laughs> see, now you know. God, how long did it took like five minutes to think about it? Give him a break, he's trying his best here. Also, considering the fact that Zed made a whole poster before the fact, no, it did not take him only five minutes to realize. I'd say like 30, give or take. Oh, thank goodness, Eliza. Need Zoda. Ugh. When the hell did Eliza drink the Zoda? There was no scene of her drinking it. Things can happen off camera. I mean, hell, you could make the same argument with Zed in this poster. Yep, Disney is dead on another level of susness. Susness. Version 2, 0.01. Using the greater than symbol as an arrow, that's dead that's so funny, I'm convinced to remove a sin for it. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> the sigh. Wait, we both drank the Zoda. Why aren't either of us zombies? The, the Zoda kind. How should I know? Wow, I guess this is kind of racism, because out of everyone, Bucky was the only one that did not get affected. Well, him and Zed. So out of everyone else that got affected, only those two boys that are the opposite did not get affected. Wow, what kind of? Wow, this is very delusional. How is this racism exactly? Delusional, yeah, but calling it racist is way too far of a stretch. I think a more fitting word is overly convenient because how in the name of all things holy did Zed manage to create a concoction that somehow refers to the Zoda zombification before the Zoda zombification even happened? Hmm. Well, that's more of a question, but you get the point nonetheless. Just wanted a few chunks. <laughs> Hello, she's possessed by Zoda. There's no way that her eyes went from straight forward to now back to being possessed. What? <sighs> wow. Her eyes never went back to normal throughout that entire clip. One day, this isn't gonna work. Of course it won't. Eliza, thank you. Thank you for taking that best friend card away from him, because I feel like he's now abused it. A lot. Taking that one card away ain't gonna do shit, because Zed said earlier he's got backups. A lot of backups. I can't believe you're pulling the best friend card again. Ugh, fine. If they didn't work. I wouldn't have printed so many. So I wouldn't be that thankful considering there are still plenty of opportunities to abuse the best friend card more. I'd recommend cowering in fear instead. She's the worst, right? Oh yeah. Honestly, overall, I think she was a fine principal. Because this would have not happened if she just gave y'all regular soda. Just regular. How does that make her a fine principal exactly? If this wouldn't have happened if they had just been given regular soda, then... Why didn't she just give them regular soda? That doesn't make you a good principal. If anything, it sounds like the exact opposite. <sighs> How did all of that did not go into Addison's uh skirt? Great time on that chair. When did that purple slime guy, or I don't know, slime guy? I'm just calling him slime. Wow, not only did that guy, that, that slime guy also. Uh, question? Why is there no, no, no hole in the ceiling? Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's where I got it. Uh, um, by, by that. See, now you, now you know. When did. When the hell? When? Wow, I guess, I guess this is. Hello, she's a, she, she's possessed by Zoda. Possessed. What? <sighs> wow. Honestly, honestly, overall. Look at Addison's face.